friends, good morning. I don't have a lot, I don't have any little birds to hand feed. The ones that I do, they're already all flying around, so I'm gonna have to keep my hand on top of them. Let's get started with a maroon belly conure. Now, I think that it's best to clip a bird's wings in a home, especially when it's a brand new home. But a lot of folks don't want that anymore because they, they watch TikTok and Instagram and everything. And that's fine. That's fine. If you think that you can handle a, a brand new bird in your home that can fly, then by all means, you, you do you. See, I'll come out. Gracious Lord, take my hand. Here we go. See what I mean? They don't stay put. Um, I should have preloaded this syringe before I got the bird out of the cage, huh? That would have been a smarter thing to do. This is another, I, I think, did, if I said green cheek conure, I'm wrong. These are maroon bellied conures. You don't want this? Here. Yeah, I'm gonna force, I'm gonna force feed him. Here. There. They're at the point of weaning. They eat on their own, but they don't eat enough on their own. And if I don't, if I don't convince them to eat just a little bit more, then they go hungry. And I don't want that to happen. These two maroon belly conures are still available for a new home. Let me get some food loaded. Because I have somebody that's coming out of the cage already. Here, come on. This is the Jinday Conyer, and he has already found his home. He's just waiting to be completely weaned. Uh, he's eating perfectly fine on his own, so at some point this week, I'm going to say he's weaned, and I'm going to call his mommy and daddy and let him go to his new house. Uh, he's, he will still take formula in the morning, I guess because he's hungriest in the morning, hasn't been eating all day. But nighttime, he won't take any formula at all. And of course, his his flight feathers have not been trimmed yet. But isn't he a beautiful bird? Look at that. I think that is just absolutely beautiful. Let me put him back in the cage. The Quakers, they're not going to want any food at all. They're going to fight me. But let's see. Come here. Come here, baby. Uh, they're perfectly tame as, I, as he's struggling to get away from me. They, they are sweet, precious, darling birds. Now, these two are still available. This one has been clipped as he flutters to the floor um, because he got into some trouble with an aquarium. Uh, he opened up the cage and he got out on his own and he thought he was going to take a bath. Here. You want some of this? No. So. We made a mess, you and I together. Mostly me, huh? So yeah, if you want to say that I'm force feeding them, then I'm force feeding them. But they are at the point of weaning and I just have to make sure that they get some food in their bodies. But this this cute little guy, he he needs his home, his his new forever home. So if you're in the Birmingham area and you think you want one, you can come get him. You can't have Quakers in Tennessee or Georgia. It's weird. They think that maybe they might become an agricultural pest. But if you're in Alabama or even Mississippi or if you want to drive from South Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, forever, you, you just come on. But these little guys are available. I have two of them. I have two Maroon Belly Conyers and I have... Uh, quite a few lorikeets so let's get the lorikeets out and we will feed those now but thankfully lorikeets wean themselves and this little girl she is almost completely weaned this is a swainson's rainbow lorikeet they are fruit and nut treaters i'm going to sneeze here in just a moment i'm not going to edit that out oh bless me lord She's another one. She only accepts food in the morning times. Is that good? Here, turn around and look at the camera. Turn around and look at the camera. Now don't wander off the edge of the table. 
can you tell why they get the name Rainbow Lord of Keep? If she still needs her home, and I have a couple of uh, scaly breasted Lord of Keeps that also need their home, all females. Come here, no, come back here. Here. Here we go. You want a little bit more? Uh oh. Typically with Lori's Laura Keats, you can uh, just put a bowl of nectar down and they'll just start eating it. And that's kind of what I have done with the rest of them. And they just eat on their own. Um, as babies, they get the same hand feeding formula as any other baby parrot because they need the protein and the fats and the carbs. But as adults, they are fruit and nectar eaters. Emphasis on the nectar. Um, the parents in the wild, they would feed the babies mostly pollen from flowers along with insects. Uh, so they do need the extra protein that the hand feeding formula provides. But as adults, they, there's a dry nectar, dry powder that you mix up with water to make a nectar formula to feed to them. And, and that's what they get. While she's here, let me show you these. Um, these are not parrot eggs. These are little little fairy eggs that I got out of uh, the Bantam Cochin pen this week. I have at least one hen that is laying small eggs. I think I have two. One that there's... Here, back them up. Two that are laying these torpedo shaped eggs and then two that are laying these little bitty ones. I have a kikiriki hen that lays eggs about this size, but her eggs are perfectly good. Uh, these just have albumin in them. There's no yolk or anything inside that. Uh, some people call them a fart egg or a, a rooster egg or a cockatrice egg. I have talked about these before. This one is shaped very, very strangely. These will dry out. Eggs will dehydrate in the shell and dry out. And so I like to keep them just because I'm weird and strange and goofy. So I'm going to put them into my dehydrator and dry them out. Hey! 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 Tell everybody bye bye, okay? Here, you, you be the one to tell everybody bye. Look at the camera. Look at the cam. Look up at the cam. Look at the camera. Look up at the camera. Say bye bye. Say God bless you. We love you. Bye bye.